Welcome to part three of our history of earth notes. So we're going to start off here with absolute dating. So absolute places an actual date on an event. That's 15 billion years old. It gives it an actual number. All right, and there's a couple different methods that we use to determine absolute age. And this is radiometric dating and radio car or radiocarbon or carbon-14 dating. Radiometric dating uses radioactive decay to measure an absolute age. So uh, things decay radioactively at a constant rate. So this allows us to measure it. So we can measure concentrations of the original radioactive isotope versus how much of the newly formed isotope we have. So that's decay, or the decayed form of the isotope. All right, and to do this, we call it a half-life. So we use the time it takes for half of the mass of a given amount of radioactive isotope to decay into its daughter isotopes. So for example, carbon-14 all right, decays into nitrogen-14, and that takes 5,730 years. Whereas uranium decays into lead, and that takes 704 million years. So our relative amounts of carbon versus nitrogen tells us how old something is. So we're going to work with this example, and let's just say for our purposes that in this here rock that there are 10 grams of parent, okay? So initially. Now it's going to decay, right, or go through a half-life. So once it goes through one half-life, we will have five grams of the original and five grams of the daughter or the decay product. All right, so now we're going through another half-life. So we're cutting the parent number in half again. So now we have 2.5 grams of a parent, and this should increase, this daughter one will increase by the same amount that this one decreased, that the parent decreased. So now we should have 7.5 grams of the daughter or the decay product. Okay, and now we're going to go through one more half-life. All right, so half of two and a half is 1.25 grams of parent. And then that should give us 8.75 grams of daughter. Now, let me point something out to you if you didn't already notice it. Since we started with 10, we can never have any more than 10. Okay, this equals 10, this equals 10. You can't grow an amount of grams of a rock or something like that. So you're just cutting this number in half each time. So let's do another example, and I'll set up a little chart for you. So on this side, we have our parent, and on this side, we have our daughter or DK product. can be seen either way. So we're starting with 800, and we want to know how much will there be after one half-life. So half of 800 is 400. Okay, so then we can only have 400 daughter because we only have 800 total. So now we're taking two half-lives. So another half-life of this parent will give us 200. All right, and then we will have 600 daughter. Three half-lives. So we're taking another half-life, and we have 100 parent. Okay, and now you have 700 daughter. And let me point this out to you, okay? So to check your work, look, you should add these up. 4 and 4 equals 800. 200 and 600 equals 800. 100 and 700 equals 800. Perfect. All right, so let's do another one together. So now we have 2,000 grams of carbon. All right, starting, and here's our parent versus our daughter. So after one half-life, half of 2,000 is 1,000. Okay, so that means that there will also be 1,000 daughter. After two half-lives, now we're cutting this in half again, and we have 500 parent, which means that we have 1,500 daughter. 
Now we're going through three half-lives, so we should have 250 parent, leaving us with 1,750 daughter. And look, I'm going to check my work. I'm going to go through and add it and make sure I have 2,000 each time, which I do. Go me. All right, so this one works in the opposite way. So if there are four grams of uranium today, how much was there one half life ago? So we're going back up the ladder. So in order to get back up the ladder one half life ago, you multiply by two. So one half life ago, there were eight. Okay, now how many were there two half lives ago? Guess what, you do the same thing, you multiply by two. 16 grams, two half lives ago, three half lives ago, you do it again, times 2 equals 32. So three half-lives ago, there was 32 grams of uranium. Now there's only four today because it's gone through three half-lives. See how I just went backwards? Instead of dividing by 2 each time, I multiplied by 2. Now you're going to be doing a half-life simulation. So you're going to be using two different methods to determine the half-life of an eminemium and a Twizzler. You will be creating half-life grabs and they should look the same. Good luck and happy eating.